So today's a super great day. I'm super hyped. I got mail. My best friend Veronica got me, and I've known her since high school. So it's going on 20 plus years. She ordered something very special for me. We'll open up last at the end of the video. And then we was in Chinatown, so wifey decided to get us random openings. So we got a box, gold series box, and a mega tin, which we got from the shop downtown Manhattan in Canal Street, um, Manhattan, New York. You could go check them out. I get most of my cards from there. 80% of my cards is from them. They got singles. They also have collectibles, action figures of any kind. Not only Yu-Gi-Oh, anything you want from there. And he always hooks you up with a discount. So if I was you, go check them out. And we're gonna open the mail last. So let's just get everything open up first. Can I say something for you? Go ahead. Also, for this tent here, he's actually putting them on sale for $15 rather than $20. So if you go to the shop, he has sales going on now, basically putting things um, basically on clearance. And um, yeah, whenever you want to pick up something, he got a good deal for you guys. Yeah, he always looks up with a discount. And mega pack. So, which one do you think we should open up first? The Mega Pack or the Gold Series? Leave the Gold ser Series for last. Alright, so, as you wish. Sounds like you're opening up Brahmin. So, we got three Mega Packs. Let's open up the promos. Nice. Ultra Blue Eyes White Dragon. Should be, oh yeah, Pot of Desires. Someone you want it, right? Mm hmm. Number 68. Eternal Lips. And a Kaiba Token. Which we already have. Yeah, so I said the other one, but it had, basically the other one has the same thing, the, the Yugi tin has the same thing except a Yugi token, Dark Magician, that's basically it. Let's put that right there, let's get into these packs. Mega cards. I wonder if there's any hollows. Prius with eyes of blue. Foolish burial goods. Oh look, dragon spirit of white. And mausoleum. A lot of cards. So, yeah, that's why I called the Megaton. Let's put. I think Foolish is our most rarest card there. Let's get a pack two. Hey, yeah, Graceful Tears. Add one card from your hand to your opponent's hand. Then gain 2,000 light points. That's interesting. To say the least. Black ones up. Metaphor fusion. Totally awesome. <laughs> Zodiac Tiger Mortar. Fusion Parasite. Yes. 
So the most rarest card I believe will be this one I think. Last pack. Dark Magical Circle. Let's go for Selene's Dark Magician deck. I'm not even going to attempt to say this one. In my expansion. I could put this in my daughter's Dark Magician deck. So, I'd say the rarest one in here would be Dark Magical Circle. Let's get into the gold series. Nice. Oh, baby, a piece of the Exodia. Replacing the one wifey has. Exodia! You know, my channel is big on Exodia. Oh, and you'll see why. I mean, you should see why from all the other videos. A lot of Exodia plays and everything. We're a rogue duelist here. That's all we do. Play rogue decks. It requires actual skills. Not bad. I wouldn't know what the rarest one in here, but I think this should be it. Galaxy, Five God, Compose Gold, Trap Tricks. Uh, disappointing. What? This is good pool. No, I meant there's no other people in Zodia. It will be one per box. Damn if, it. If at that. Now the Coupe de Gras. She wanted to get me this card because she knows I don't only run Exodia, but it's the rarest card for Exodia to have. Dark Duel Stories. Definitely will be playing it in our Exodia build. She found it for a real cheap price online, but yeah, Dark Duel Stories Head of Exodia. If you play rogue decks, leave that like. 